What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 14 in the third grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us four answer choices with number lines that all have the same tick marks and the same one-half and six-eighths on them, but point M is different, and we're supposed to figure out which number line shows point M at three-eighths. In order to do this question, you need to know about equivalent fractions, and you also need to know how to work with number lines. So let's start with equivalent fractions because I can see that one half and six eighths have different denominators so I want to go ahead and try to see if I can get these to have the same denominator um, so my my biggest question is how many times does two go into eight well if you know your times tables or you can skip count and say two four six eight that's how many twos one two three four twos so two goes into eight four times which means that if I want to get one half into some number of eighths, I need to multiply by four on the bottom and by four on the top. So one times four gets me four, two times four gets me eight. So I know that one half is the same thing as four eighths. And I know it's going to be this way all the way down. So now that I know that this line right here is four eighths and this line is six eighths, I can think about space and I can think about distance. If I'm at 4 eighths and I need to get to 6 eighths, how far am I going to have to go? I'm going to have to go 2 eighths. So that means that each of these little spaces represents 2 eighths, which means this is 2 eighths, that's 2 eighths, and that one's 2 eighths and it's going to be the same for each of these other number lines. So I can go ahead and fill in some of this information. For instance, going left from 1 half or going left from 4 eighths. 4 eighths minus 2 eighths is just 2 eighths. 2 eighths, 2 eighths. Um, 2 eighths minus 2 eighths is just 0, or 0 eighths. 6 eighths going the other way, we would add 2 eighths. So 6 plus 2 is 8. And 8 eighths is also known as just 1. All right, so now I have a whole bunch of numbers that I can, that I've filled in representing the spaces in my number lines. And at this point, I'm going to see which number line has point M that could represent 3 eighths. So if I look at choice A, point M is right here on 2 eighths. 2 eighths is not 3 eighths, so it can't be choice A. Choice B, I see that two, M is right between 2 eighths and 4 eighths, and the number right between 2 and 4 is 3, so I'm reasonably sure that this is 3 eighths, but I want to knock out C and D just to be sure. For choice C, M is right between 4 and 6, the number right between 4 and 6 is 5, so this would be 5 eighths, definitely not what we're looking for. And then for choice D, the number right between 6 eighths and 8 eighths, or 1, is 7, so this would be 7 eighths, and again, not what we're looking for. So now that we've knocked out all the other answer choices, we can say pretty definitively, we can say with a lot of confidence that choice B is our answer. This number line has M at 3 eighths because it's right between 2 eighths and 4 eighths.